our farm, we feed about 160 tons of feed every single day. And so it takes a lot of logistics to make all of that happen because we work year round. We bring in about five to six million pounds a month of spent grain, vegetable waste, and other byproducts from the, our local food manufacturing industry. If we weren't here feeding those products to our cows, that would all end up in a local landfill. But those products have nutrients that we can't consume, but they love it. When local brewers brew beer, what happens is they boil a big vat of water, and in that vat of water, they'll add barley and hops, and it's kind of like making oatmeal. They'll drain the water off, that goes into the brewing process, but what's left over is this spent mash or spent grain. Although it's not needed for the brewing process, that spent grain is still 12% protein, which is great for dairy cows. The breweries will then load that spent grain onto our trailers, and then we will haul it here to our farm and dump it where it provides feed for our cows. Cows' digestive systems are vastly different than us as humans. Cows have a four-chambered stomach, and the main one is a rumen. So they'll consume forages and grains and minerals, and that just all goes around in this big fermentation vat called the rumen. Now, one unique thing about the rumen is that because it's a fermentation vat, you'll see on our farm we feed a lot of spent grain, which has yeast in it. And like yogurt for us, yeast acts as a probiotic for cows, and so that actually helps them digest all their nutrients. Just like people have dietitians at our farm, our cows actually have a livestock nutritionist. There's a lot of food byproducts available that dairy farmers can feed. Um, here at our farm, spent grain is of course the main one, but we have several others too. We can feed bakery waste from local bakeries. We feed any remnants from produce manufacturers. And so our nutritionist takes all of that and figures out a ration based on what the life cycle of our cows need. So it's very common for dairy farmers to make a TMR, which stands for total mixed ration. It's just all of their nutrients all together in one mixture. So every bite that they take has the same amount of nutrients. And with a cow eating about 100 pounds of feed every single day, it's important that every bite is consistent. We get milk from our cows, but they also produce manure, which we then are able to put in a large in-vessel composter where the liquid is separated from the solids. And what comes out is dry and sterile, and it looks a lot like peat moss. And so that product goes to a lot of local produce farmers here in our area, and they use it to grow fruits and vegetables for us to consume. And then of course the scraps come back here. So it's just this continual loop that we have on our farm. Dairy farmers across the country have had this symbiotic relationship with breweries for over a century. And it's nice to have built those relationships, sometimes for generations, on people that we work with that help grow our hay or haul our feed in or businesses that we support by helping them upcycle their byproducts. And that's one of the reasons why our farm has been relevant and an important part of our community for 113 years. And that's something to really be proud of. <laughs>